I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on polynomial equations. The question here is, if polynomial 2x cubed plus x plus 1 x square equals to 4 minus x square has a root at minus 2, find the other roots. So let's rewrite this function which is uh, 2x cubed plus k plus 1 x square. Let me bring all the terms to one side. So we'll write this as minus 4 plus x square. Right? So, and so it becomes equal to 0. So I've rewritten. Now when I say that it has a root at minus 2, that means at x equal to minus 2, we have a solution to this. It leads to a solution, right? Substituting minus 2 will satisfy the equation and also help us to find the value of k. Perfect. That's the whole idea. Okay. So let's substitute minus 2 here. So when I substitute minus 2, I get 2 times minus 2 whole cube plus k plus 1 minus 2 square minus 4 plus minus 2 square equals to 0. So now let's calculate. Minus 2 cube is minus 8 times 2 is minus 16. Now here we get 4, right? So when you open the bracket, you get 4k plus 4. Then we have minus 4 and minus 2 square is plus 4. We have equal to 0. So now we can find the value of k, correct? So what is k equals to? So let's calculate this. So minus and plus 4 cancels. So we get from here 4k. Now we could cancel this. So minus 12 equal to 0. So that gives you the value of k, correct? So that gives you k equals to 12 divided by 4, which is 3. I'm saving this space to find the other roots. So we get the value of k, which is equal to 3. So we found that k equals to 3. Now if k is equal to 3, I can rewrite the equation with k equals to 3. And then we can find the other roots, correct? That's the whole idea. So let's do it. Okay, so I'll substitute k equals to 3 in this equation, which is this particular one, and then we'll rewrite the equation. So if k equals to 3, what do I get? I get 2x cubed plus 3 plus 1 x square minus 4 plus x square equal to 0, correct? So this is 4, so we get 2x cubed plus 4x square minus 4, let me write x square first, minus 4 equals to 0. So that gives you the equation with the value of k as 3, 2x cubed plus 5x square minus 4 equal to 0. Right. So that becomes a cubic equation for us. Now we need to find other roots. So this is part 2. We need to find other roots. So we know one root is at x equals to minus 2, right? So that means x plus 2 is a factor. So we can find the quadratic equation by long division, correct? So let's find the quadratic equation now. So what we'll do here is we'll just divide the expression 2x cubed plus 5x square. Now x term is missing, so I'll put a placeholder 0x minus 4 divided by x plus 2, which we know is a factor. So we expect remainder 0. Perfect. It goes 2 times x square. So when you multiply, you get 2x cubed plus 4x square. Now when you take away and bring down the next term, you get x square plus 0x. 
Now you need to times it with x in the quotient. You get x square plus 2x. Taking away gives you minus 2x. Bring down 4 minus. Now we can multiply by minus 2. That gives you minus 2x minus 4. And as expected, the remainder is 0. So, we know the, the other factor is 2x squared plus x minus 2, right? So, the other factor is this. So, now we know that the, the other factor is the quotient, which is 2x squared plus x minus 2. So basically now we need to find roots of this equation, right? So to find the roots of this equation, we'll equate that to 0. So it becomes a quadratic equation whose product is 4. And we are looking for, this is minus 4. And we are looking for a sum of plus 1, right? Minus 4 and plus 1. So it um, 4 times 1 will not give you plus 1. 2 times 2 is 4. That will also not give you plus 1. So we'll use the quadratic formula, right? So let's use the quadratic formula. So we get x equals to minus p, which is minus 1, plus minus square root of b square, which is 1, minus 4ac, so which is minus 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 2, 16. With a negative sign, it becomes plus 16, correct? Plus 16. Divided by... 2 times a, which is 4. I kind of clubbed all the steps here, but I think that's, that is not very difficult. We just use the quadratic formula. Right? So that gives you two roots, which are minus plus minus, I mean minus 1, plus minus square root of 17 divided by 4. So that becomes the other roots. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to answer this question. So the other roots are minus 1 plus minus square root 17 over 4. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to go through these steps again. Try to understand. And um, if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.